John, most people have heard the term assume the sale. Now you are, you're a master of assuming the sale. Can you explain why that's successful and how to go about that process um, so people can replicate what you've been able to do with it? Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I think it starts with attitude and belief. You know, my, my attitude is that, that I'm, that, my attitude is, is that when I go out and talk to somebody, I'm going to get them what's good for them. I know that even though I may not know everything about what it is that I sell, um, I know that I work with people that do. Uh, and if I have any questions, if I have any defining questions, um, you know, I can ask them. I, you know, I, I don't want to get something that, that's not good for somebody. But, you know, because it's got to be a win-win sale in my opinion. So, but, but I know that my attitude is, is that, that I'm going to get them what, uh, what's good for them and it's going to be good for me too. So, I know that in advance, so there's no question there. So my attitude and my, my, my kind of approach into it starts with that. And that's a, a good, positive, healthy way to go about it. And that's, that's uh, unlike, I think, a lot of people go into it thinking how it's not going to work. You know, I think I go into it thinking it's going to work. It's gonna, it's all, it's gonna pan out the way it's supposed to, and it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a win-win. Um, the other thing is, that I, you know, I, I think that is a step before. I, I think most salespeople don't think much about their sale. They, they just kind of launch into it where they've been taught to hit the start button. I, I start a, a step before that and think about. Um, I just think about it a little bit more. I, you know, I, I envision myself at the end of it because I think anytime you want to achieve something, you envision what you want and then work backwards. So I go, okay, um, if I'm meeting with the hospital, you know what, I, I'm going to do, I'm going to find a little bit about the hospital You know, I'm going to do a little bit of legwork. So when I get to go, oh, you know, I saw you did the such and such, you know, uh, charity event in, in October. My competition doesn't do that kind of thing. So, but so anyway, there's there's a little bit of prep work. You know, I, I want to make sure that I'm I'm a little bit more up to speed than the average guy, and and not uh, in in things that apply to them. Um, but back to assuming. So so it's I go into it with an attitude that I'm going to provide something that they want and that that's good for them. It's better than what they had before, or it's something they don't have that I'm going to provide that's going to help them get what they want to achieve. Uh, so I'm naturally assuming that that's going to happen. And so when I go into my, my sales process, not my sales presentation, because I don't present, I converse. You know, I start with rapport and relationship, and that comes from doing a little bit of legwork or homework, or, or when I get to their location, you know, talk, you know seeing something that, that I find interesting, and I truly find something that really is interesting. And so, it, you know, I'm not just talking about, because you, you know when people are just talking like uh uh huh yeah 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 right. oh isn't that interesting uh -huh. <laughs> anyway you know that that that's nothing you know that that's that doesn't give you any any rapport or credibility or or more confidence that that you can be assumptive and sell uh, so I try I find a true true interest but then when I t when I get into the discovery process uh, of the sale I I'm not you know some people are tentative like you wouldn't want to buy this from me would you you know, and whether they say that or they think that, it comes out in the tentative nature of their voice. So I'm rolling ahead assuming that they're going to want one of the choices that I have to offer. So I always give them an A, B. Well, let me ask you, in, in, in this process and what we're talking about, what, what, what would it be better? Would it be the, this one or that one? And I don't care which one they choose because I, it's important from a tie-down perspective and a leading perspective and, and assuming that they're going to want one or the other. Uh, that you ask them that question. And so now they've come up to this point, we know that they're either going to get this one or that one, so they choose this one, great. Now I can move forward and go, okay, well let's see how, you know, let me ask you some other questions and see how that would tie into, you know, other questions about how they do business that might support that decision as being the right one and, and go forward, maybe I pull up my paperwork and and, and check that off as, as the item, get them used to seeing, a very assumptive, isn't it? I, I don't wait until the very end to, to pull up, to organize my stuff. I assume going in, they're gonna buy. So I've got my paperwork in the proper order. I've got two sets, maybe three, just in case they're screwing up and have to crumple it up and throw it away. But I assume we're rolling forward. So when it gets down to the point where, where I've got all the paperwork out, we've had a conversation, what I do at that point is I, I say, all right, what's the legal name of your business? Break eye contact, pen on paper. There's that long, comfortable, pa uncomfortable pause. And when they say, 
first financial. Blah, blah, blah. You know, the deal's done, isn't it? But I assume, I, I don't go, well, you know, do you think that maybe, you know, perhaps we should do this? That doesn't sound very confident. If I pull up paper, okay, and we've talked about everything, I've asked you questions, you've said, well, this one versus that one. Yeah, I can see how that would make sense. I've asked you how, you're, how you see things working and the questions about your business. It all flows really naturally, doesn't it? So I can, as it's flowing naturally, I'm, we're moving forward. I'm assuming we're going to the end, you know, and, and I'm happy and you're happy. I envisioned it before I ever came in. I've asked you the right questions. I've checked the things on my paperwork and, and uh, you've said yes, this would be the better choice. Now all I'm doing is I'm, I'm filling out the paperwork and, and I go, oh, just need your, your autograph here, your John Henry, whatever you want to call it. You never say contract, commitment, paperwork, or you say paperwork, not, you know, use the light words. Good, just need your okay here and we'll get that going for you. That makes sense? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Done. So you just, it, by assuming and asking the right questions along the way, it just flows more so than the old sales presentation, overcoming objections, then coming up with the close. It's just, that old way is hard. You know, it's, it's, hard, it's hard for me and I think it's hard for most people. And it's hard to have a, a, a high paying career doing it because it's not very fun. You know, I want to do something that's fun and I get value out of it and I can provide value. I know that sounds corny and everything, but it's true because you get longevity out of that too. And all, part of it starts from assuming that's the way it's going to go.